Meet Year 7. Awesome! It's the most important year of school so far. We're not here to have a laugh and a good time. We're here to learn. <laughs> With so many changes, new friends, Oh, yes, have you got a car? And new teachers. You are a Greenwood boy. It's an exciting world to discover. Wow! It can be fun, but sometimes it can be tough. There are different challenges for everybody. We're in Year 7, we're acting like three-year-olds. We've rigged another secondary school with loads of cameras. Is this what you see when you look for a camera? Because this is awesome. So you can find out exactly what happens. You're on report by my request. I'm Trev. <laughs> I used to go to school here, but now I'm one of the teachers. Last question, because you're going to run out of time. Welcome to our school. I need a wee. Starting at secondary school can seem scary. Unfamiliar classrooms, strange looking teachers, and a whole bunch of new kids to mix with. Today on our school, we're going to see how two of year seven are settling into their new surroundings. Later, we'll meet Taylor J. Hey. First, say hello to Archie. I'm really good at dancing. Do you want to see me dancing? Dancing. He's just transferred to Greenwood from another school and comes with a reputation. I get told off for being cheeky and chatty a lot. He's not exactly a shy boy. I was in the show and like this and I saw her hair and I was like... Oh, but he's glad his old mate Spencer's on hand to help him settle in. We're Sparchy, Spencer and Archie. We are Sparchy, we're yeah. Harachi. Yeah. We put some spray on and make sure it's for Sarchi. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, mate, what a goal. Mate, what a goal. It's funny and, like, it's cheeky, like he can get away with things easy. Oh. Archie lives a short walk from school. I live with my mum, my dad and my little brother. Jensen's like me, kind of like a cheeky boy. This cheerful lad is keen to settle in fast. Jack! Keep calling you Jack, Jay. Archie's antics may be raising a few smiles with fellow pupils. How many yellow cards have you got? I've only had one. Who's got this guy? But he's not proving popular with everyone in the classroom, especially in maths with Mr. Bruton. Archie, your chair is there. Why are you over there? Look at everyone else. What are they doing? Sitting down. Sitting Everyone down. is sitting down. Yeah. So why are you not sitting down? <laughs> Sit down. Sir, I land on my chair. Sit down. Okay. okay. The longer you take, the longer you're staying. I'm sitting down. You're not. You're swinging. So I can stand up then. <laughs> Archie's clowning about has alerted the attention of Head of Year 7, Miss Richardson. Now, young man, I'm giving you a very clear warning now. You do not come here to Greenwood Academy and start getting on my behaviour log, young man. Now, I know for a fact Miss Rowan's already spoken to you about showing off, and I'm putting to an end to that now. You're on report, and I tell you now, if you fail that in a week, you'll be with me in isolation and have your parents in. Don't care. You sort out your behaviour now, Archie. Do you understand? Yes, Miss Richardson. Right, go to your lesson. Not a good start, Archie. You're now on report, which means the teachers must give a mark for behaviour and effort after every lesson. I think he's settled in a bit too much, too fast. I had two yellow cards and I'm on report, that's it. And everyone else has had, like, ambers and reds and all that. It's not even fair, is it? Hey, Mum, that's life. Bad luck, Archie. You've quickly found your way into Miss Richardson's bad book. It's not all about being centre of attention, you know. Archie, why are you still not working on your fucking head down? Sir. Down. Look. It's not a dance session, this is a maths lesson. It's not dancing, sir. It's an impression, Archie. Not... <laughs> First warning. But Archie still appears to be causing a disruption, and Mr. Bruton is less than impressed. Second warning. Second warning. For. You're not working. I'm working, sir. I've got my work here. How's this dancing? <laughs> and 
unhappy with his performance, Miss Richardson wants another one-to-one -one with Archie. You got two cards already. We weren't impressed. Why did you get them cards last week? I don't know, I think it was because I was talking with, like, Spencer and everyone. Do you think you were showing off a bit? No, I was just talking and I got, like, cards and talking. OK, you know that you're not allowed to unless I think you really be listening to Miss or Sir. OK? It is about speaking at appropriate times. You don't have to sit there in silence for the entire hour. I don't expect you to sit there in silence for the entire hour, OK? But I do expect you to be listening to members of staff, especially to make a good impression considering you've only just arrived. OK? All right. Thank you very much for that. It's all right. He is a nice character. He just needs to start getting it right within lessons because I think that's where he's trying to show off a little bit to get more friends. Let's hope Archie's learned his lesson now. Hello. Time to meet Taylor J. Sir, 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 sir. Greenwood's very own self-confessed drama queen. <sighs> I'm bratty. I'm hyper. I'm in the middle of mean and nice. Taylor Joy is such a bubbly, loud character. It's brilliant. She's full of enthusiasm whenever she comes to the door. Don't care. This is one girl who loves to be centre stage. Yes! I'm confident. I do, I do what I want to do. But Taylor's a drama queen with a dream. Drama is uh, important to me because, like, um, I want to get somewhere in life and uh, with my drama, it can actually help me. Young Stars is a youth group. Like, we do singing, acting and dancing and all that. She's been in lots of shows. She's just fantastic. She's brilliant. She really is. She's the biggest diva of them all. Oh, it! Taylor lives at home with her biggest fans, her brother, mum and dad. My family mean a lot to me because, like, they've been there ever since I was little and they've looked after me. Really proud of your singing and your acting. You need to keep, keep that together. You do make me proud. Taylor's full of energy when it comes to playing centre stage. Ah! Please, I'm a special child. Smelly. You will have question one. Write these percentages as fractions in simplest form. But in maths, her wide awake performance could do with a little more practice. So we're increasing this, Taylor. Put your head up. Like you're ready to learn, not ready to take a nap. And in history, Mr Saunders has noticed her concentration technique needs more thought. You're not paying attention. You cannot flap around and pay attention. Come close. Can you wait for me outside, please? It's the third time I found you laughing and giggling. It's not work going on. You haven't even taken your work out of your packs yet. Okay. Not gonna happen. So what's the problem over there? Why are you laughing? Hang on. Why? Now it's her fault. Your fault, you're laughing, you're not focusing. Now you've taken me away from the rest of the class. But it's English with Mr Cross, which spells frustration for Taylor J. Like Sir, so I've got an announcement to make. I've actually spelt February right for once. I am rubbish at spelling. I still don't know how to spell Wednesday. My favourite word is lol because I, I use it a lot and my mum and dad told me, tell me to shut up when I say it. If you open your books, OK, you will see I have marked them. You will have a level, yeah? Go back. So how's Taylor J's English grade this week? I've gone down. Why have I gone down? Read my... Not mind. happy. Whoops. Oh, Perhaps a bit of Shakespeare will help cheer you up. Any questions? So I can go to the toilet? Ah, yes. To pee or not to pee? That is the question. If we end up writing our own poem, I'm going to flip. I'm rubbish at writing poems. I end up writing a blaming story. Shall I compare thee to a summer's day? Shakespeare. Thou art more lovely and more temperate. Rough winds do shape the darling buds of me. It's a bit posh. My nan would love it. My nan's posh. Does Romeo really love Rosalind? Yeah. No, no, because she likes Juliet. Boom! It appears Taylor J has Romeo's romances sorted, but what about her own?
the best looking boy would be Spencer because I've been out with him for about four, like three or four times. My head is a jungle, jungle. My head. Go away. Yeah, look. You're my problem. We're not going out. She needs to ask me. Say it. I just said yeah, didn't I? So say it. Just hurry up, man. Just say it. I'll give you a straight answer and it'll be yeah. No, she can ask me out. I think I know what's coming. I need you to say it in person to me. Mum. I do like yeah. It's a, it's a friend I do. But I just don't like you in a, in a girlfriend way. Saved by the bell, Spencer. But well, they're not the only ones thinking about romance. Oh, in year seven, there's lots of boyfriends and girlfriends. Are you going to go? Are you going to go? Oh, my God. Basically, there is a lot of love going around. Apparently, this is what I've had. Um, he asked you out, and then you asked him out. I don't think um, many relationships last long in year seven. I don't want any, a boyfriend right now. Could be a day. Could be a day. It could be an hour, actually. They split up and then they got back together and then they split up and then they get back together. <laughs> Come on, Spencer, leave. Shut up. Oh, Spencer. Jimmy Short and Spencer, no, not for a day. Okay, we've got Courtney. a boyfriend. Courtney, that's Courtney. She's the one that's funny. <laughs> Did you kiss him? Did you kiss him? Did you hug him? I don't want a boyfriend. I don't want none of them in the school. Well, there's plenty more fish in the sea for me. <laughs> Farewell, my Farewell, friend. Farewell, my friend. <laughs> Yeah, I'm over it now. If he asks me out again, I'm just saying no. So perhaps Taylor can now turn her full attention to class. Taylor? Taylor? <laughs> Earlier, we met new boy Archie. Yeah, the best. He's a lively lad, full of beans. I actually no! fought it. I actually fought it. I actually fought it. I actually fought it. But his entertaining behaviour has quickly got him on report. I don't want to be like one of those kids that are labelled as a, like a bad kid. I want to like know the teachers that I can turn it around and be a good kid. Has he learned his lesson now? Archie, I don't appreciate you ignoring me. Sit in that seat. Yeah, I am, Miss. Sorry. So we'll start looking at some really complex ones because I believe. I want to see what I look like. Enough. Now, get on with your designs. Where's your right. pencil? Now, that should be out. Okay. That'll be no then. I, I love it. It seems his fooling about has once again been detected by the Richardson radar. We had a discussion in the morning about that. So now, young man, you've lost your break from lunchtime today and you'll be coming down straight down to my room in 016. Stand still and stand up straight. Get off the wall. Have a bit of respect for yourself when you're speaking to me as well. Now, I've also been in contact with your mum and left a voicemail. We're also going to contact your old school as well. I'm not too happy. I tell you now, no one gets away with having a conversation with me yesterday and then decides to get on the behaviour log again. If you don't understand what happens at the school and how to behave, it's not a problem. You can spend every single break and lunch time after school with me and we can just do lines, that's fine. Do you understand? Yes, yeah. Miss Richardson? Yes, Miss Richardson. OK, come straight down to 016, do you understand? If you yeah. don't, it'll be an hour after school. Archie's keen-to-be-seen approach has got him noticed for all the wrong reasons. And that third Miss Richardson chat should really give him something to chew on. Go outside, go spit what you're chewing. Hmm? Spit out my chewing gum. Out. OK. Oh, poor Archie. You're not allowed to chew chewing gum in class, but, like, it's a very, like... Addictive thing. I concentrate better when I have chewing gum. Chewing gum's just <laughs> amazing. <laughs> it's tutor time, and Mr. Elliot is about to announce why he's dressed in a rather peculiar fashion. So it looks like you play the piano every Thursday. Okay, so. 7A, 7D. On Monday, you guys will be going on a trip to the Black Country Museum. Right? It is a museum that is in Dudley. Dudley. Okay? Obviously, you can tell it's sort of an older place, uh, and you'll be seeing Victorian people... Era, Victorian era. Victorian era. Our attire today to okay. show you what, what kind of dress um, that they wore back in Victorian times. So it will it, be a, a sleepover, a sleepover. Guys. 
School trips can be a great chance to hang out with your mates and even make some new ones. But what else is so good about school trips? Trips, I think, are good for, like, having fun instead of having to be at school. You can, like, mess around more, can't you? You get to, like, miss lessons, get out of work. You get to mess around in that. Not quite what I was thinking of, Taylor. <laughs> and you might want to think twice about messing about on this trip. It's very strict in those days, Taylor. You know, you got hit with the cane. <laughs> Swear, they hit me with a cane. I ain't gonna do I'm that. Gonna throw down. <laughs> Being away from home for the night could be a good chance for Archie to bond with his new classmates. But now I know like quite a lot of people in Year Seven, so I can like talk to everyone. Now I look like a Victorian. Woohoo! Taylor, Jay and Tamar were singing loud, really loud. The drums on the bus go beep, 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 all day long. Everyone was like, sure, The journey is an opportunity for Lucy to think about how different Victorian times were. We had nothing called reading and they had to wear, like, corsets that had, like, whalebone or something like that in them and that was, like, really tight. I love it. Can you imagine the back end? For Taylor, Jay, it's time to carefully plan the evening. Sweets! Messaging me more back! <laughs> what do you think's a good plan for tonight? What time do you think's a, a reasonable time for the children to go to sleep? Um, I think the kids are going to sleep. I hope so. All night out! All night out! All night out! All night out! Yeah, we all all got munchies. Lucy, did you buy munchies? We all got munchies. <laughs> The Victorian era spanned from 1837 to 1901, during the reign of Queen Victoria. Welcome to the Black Country Living Museum, everybody! Woo! <laughs> and this living museum is a great way for Year 7 to experience how different life would have been in those days. <laughs> how will a traditional Victorian lesson with a rather strict Mr Williams compare to theirs? Quickly! What's your name? Rosie, get in line. Rosie. <laughs> Follow me. This way. Let's pay attention, class. <laughs> it was split into two groups. Boys on this side, girls on that side. All the way there. No, boys sat there, girls sat there. No, because we were facing that way. Girls sat that side, girls sat, boys sat that side. Well, you know. You may sit. In Victorian times, school is different because you only have three subjects to learn. And the lessons would have been called the three R's, reading, arithmetic, writing. And you would have come to this school to learn those three things. It must have been really hard because the teachers are really strict. Some of the questions I shall ask. What is wrong with you, boy? Sorry, sir. Are you a clown? Are you, boy? Are you a clown? No, sir. Right. First of all, you're going to do the two and three times table. So sit up straight. One times two equals two. Two times two equals four. I go one times two is two. Two times two is four. Why can't well, you just know one, two is two. Two is four. It's easier. You laughing girl, stand up. <laughs> Come out here. Archie and Spencer were in front of me and they kept making me laugh, so I, I, they were making me laugh that much the teacher told me to go up. Put your left hand out, girl. <laughs> Do you think Taylor J knows he's not really going to hit her? Now, let this be a lesson to you all when I say no talking or laughing. Maybe she doesn't. Pull your hand out, girl. Oh. Sit down, girl. He was this close of whacking me on my hand. Nah, not really. And then Mr Williams grabbed Archie by his ear and pulled him out to, his, to the front of the class. Stand up, boy. 
actually Courtney. He only pretended to grab his ear. Stand out there. Don't worry about that. Stand there. Looks like for Archie, a Victorian lesson is no different from today. I really liked the school. I mean, I liked the old-fashioned beams and how it looked really good inside and how they got the little, like, the chalk and that. And I liked the writing because it was like, you know, I like really curly writing. After a good old-fashioned telling off, what better remedy than a trip to the Victorian chemist? So you arrive in my shop and you tell me what's wrong with you. In the olden days, you had to pay to see a doctor, and not everyone could afford to, so the local chemist was the next best thing. Because this was your poor man's doctor. Not only were they the poor man's doctor, because people couldn't afford to go to the doctor, they were the poor man's dentist. And also, they were the poor man's vet. See them big glass jars in the window? We should have four. Now, them represented the, earth, the four elements. That's earth, wind, fire and water. So you would know straight away, if you saw those signs in the, in the window, this is the chemist shop. Finally, a chance to explore one of the very coal mines which helped give the black country its name. I don't like this! We were all excited, but when we got in there, it was all like, oh my gosh, I can't see. <laughs> I was excited, but like the man told us it was haunted, so I was really scared. It's horrible down there, like, it's all dirt. I personally liked the mine because I like the really earthy smell. I thought it was really interesting but scary at the same time. I was just like looking at the people and I was like, wow, this is like the way they, they live down here. I was like pitch black. Seeing how their great great grandparents once lived is proving to be a real eye opener. It made me think, like, horrible for the children in Victorian times because they never had no technology. We're lucky now because we've got all the internet and stuff. Well, Courtney, they may not have had the internet, but lots of things were invented in Victorian times, like the telephone, bicycle, typewriter, and even the flushing toilet. The busy day has barely left Taylor J and Archie any time to hang out with their mates. Welcome to your second home. Come in. Perhaps tonight will be the perfect opportunity. I'm scared. No smelly boys allowed, so don't come in because we don't like you. That told you, Spencer. No smelly boys. While the girls neatly settle in for the night, the boys decide to let off some steam. Good to see Archie getting to grips with his mates, though. <laughs> oh, look out, guys. Put everything out nicely. I'm going there. Uh, Donnell's going there, I'll I think. I'm going next to... Spencer's going, going, going in the corner. Going but when you're away from Mum and Dad for the night, surrounded by friends, sleep is going to be the last thing on your mind. School trips with your mates can be the perfect opportunity to catch up on the gossip. And get yourself a makeover. Right, Leo? After a hectic day, it's time to finally get some sleep. You can stay awake, all right, but I don't want you to upset people who want to sleep. Good night, everyone. Good night, God bless. How did you go to sleep last night? I went about <laughs> that five. It was fun going on the school trip, but it was a bit exhausting. You should do it again. I'm not looking forward to going back to school because like, everyone's tired and everyone's going to be really moody with everyone. Sorry, Kyra. All good things must come to an end. But before you all go, Mr Saunders has a job for you. You're not leaving unless this place is absolutely clean. A spot of good old fashioned tidying up. I think that going on an overnight trip with like our classmates in year seven was a really big thing for us. I mean, some of us got to know each other a little bit more than we did before, I feel. 
I got to know Tamar more, Kyra more, because I obviously don't know them that well. I didn't make any new friends, but I, like, bonded with them more. I got to know Casey more. Because I'm just amazing. You're so full of yourself. Friends are really important to me, because what would school be without friends? Having become more familiar with their friends, perhaps Taylor J and Archie can now focus more on their class work instead of their classmates. It's music, and a good opportunity for Taylor to show she's making an extra effort. Right, I need to take the register. Can you do the do now that's on the board, please? I love music. I've made my own CD. People say that I'm going to be famous in about 10 years' time, and I really believe that. We're going to go straight into having a go at playing it on the offbeat, because you've done very well so far. One, two, three, four, one, C. Two, C. C. You see? C. Just look at that concentration. C. C. And also in maths, things are really beginning to add up. Taylor, what'd you get? I got 44%. 43. The answer should be 44. Yay! I care about maths, cos I want to be like my dad in maths, cos my dad is really smart at maths. So I bet you it's four. What? See? Perhaps Miss Richardson's wise words may finally have taken effect on Archie. He's starting now to understand how to behave in lessons and how not to get them yellow cards. I'm like, two, four, six, eight. Ooh, hey, you can't do that. But then you see on the thing that you got to add one to it. So then... So I reckon I have learnt my lesson, but I still will get, a, like, a few yellow cards and ambers and reds. Well done, Taylor, Jay and Archie. After all, it's good to get noticed in school, but for all the right reasons, idea, not you. the wrong we ones. Next time, can Lucy, Year 7's BFG... Who's your favourite giant? Yeah. Yes. Overcome some big nerves. Are you feeling brave enough to we'll talk about it next lesson? And meet Darnell, who thinks he's Mr. Cool. To be or not to be. <laughs> that is my. Ch 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 but finds himself in hot water. Darnell, head out to your comments. You can go stand outside. Um. <laughs> what? I'm thinking. <laughs> You're looking at me like. Everything working in there. The thing that they've done. Wait. Oh, baby. <laughs> it's on camera. I could say now. I could make you look like you've got a really big bogey. <laughs> yeah. Remember, Pitt. <laughs>